Hey, back at Dead Horse Gap, coming up the Cascades Trail, heading out towards the chimneys. Here's the crossing. Okay, um, I'm going to leave the Cascade Trail here. This is the Boggy Plain, I'm pretty sure it's called. And up in the distance we can see the chimneys out there. Back here is the way we've come in with the Ram's Head Range. Down below is the Threadbow River. Up in the distance is the Paddy Rush Bogong. Okay, heading down from here. The Brumby trails tend to be on the higher and drier ground. Mm, small mob of brumbies. Buggy Plain, Threadbow River, and the Ram's Head Range. And that's the main Ram's Head in the centre, slightly behind. Gonna cross down here, trying not to spook the Brumbies. I've crossed this before, it isn't as bad as it looks. Ah, oh, there they are, looking good. Don't want to cut off their escape route. They can all be a bit snorty and feisty, but it's the stallion I try and avoid. This next ridge always seems like about the halfway point. Here it is, halfway ridge. The river's still quite wide, even this far up the valley. It's hard to get across. That's why I crossed that bridge at the start.
as I say, I've only ever had problems with stallions. I'd love to ride a horse out here. Seems perfect for it. Here are the chimneys up through this valley. I'm heading over that way. Just following Brumby trails. Down that way must be the head of this valley. Chimneys are beyond the top of that rise. And to reach there, I'm going to first get to a saddle at the top of this gully. Here we are, the grassy saddle. Turn left somewhere here. Okay, heading left, north, and Brumby Trails again. The top of the rise is somewhere up that way. Mmm, the quartz is pink here. Or perhaps orange. Higher up are these open areas. And the Brumby Trail peters out of this open grassy section. And I'm just going to leg it to the top of the hill now. And I want to return here later to go back down the Brumby Trail and there's this distinctive dirt patch here, quite recognisable. Here's the general area from above. Use this large rock for bearings. I came up directly below it, and that's Mount Kosciuszko on the horizon. And the ridge crest is open and rocky. And eventually reach these outcrops. Here I like to rest at this little rock seat. Here's my gear for the day trip. Fairly minimal. There's no reception out here so I bring the PLB. Never know I might get trampled by a stallion. And from the top of these outcrops, we can see why we've come this way. It gives us access to the chimneys themselves, which are out on their own little ridge over that way. There's the further ridge line winding up around that way. There's the valley we came up with the boggy plain at the far end. 
And after some refreshments, I'm first going to cross this swampy plain. And then make my way up there. Okay, now down here. Only way I know is climbing from the left. That's where I've just come down from. First the forest. That's the northern summit up there. And there's the cairn. Yes, the top. here looking back to the northern chimney. This is probably the only angle that they really do look like smokestacks. A bit of a close up on the Pilot Mountain. The Victorian Mountains are behind in this view. This is one of the few views that shows us that Mount Kosciuszko is the highest. Should be able to describe some of the way back from here. First, crossing this swampy plain. Then reaching that outcrop again and following the ridge down. At the bottom, that grassy saddle, and I follow the gully down into the river flats. And way up the other end of the valley there is the boggy plain and the Cascades Trail. Okay, I'm heading down. Yes, the rock seat. Plenty of shade in the afternoon. Okay, there's the final look back. 
and I'm heading down. Ah, oh, here's this marker rock from earlier. There we go, dirt patch. Grassy saddle area. Yeah, stallion. Seems cool. Heading down the gully, staying on the north side. Even there's a Brumby trail on the other side as well. Here's a sphagnum moss bog that hasn't been trampled. Shows they don't go everywhere anyway. And up the back there, the ridge we climbed to, and the chimneys. They look quite different from down here, don't they? Well, almost reached the river flats. I'll return along the inward course. There's enough manure up here to fertilize the wheat belt. Oh man. I don't think they mean to destroy it, but gee, the hooves are hard on the creek edges. Here we go, halfway hill. Buggy plane. Now I'm back at this bog that it's possible to pick our way across. Cascades Trail. So there 
there we go. Bit of a visit to the chimneys. Wonderful, really. And that was certainly much better than the last time I went to the chimneys when a huge fog came in and I couldn't see a thing. All these things happen. Okay, now I'm on the road back to the Cascades car park. So I'm thinking to wrap it up here. That's it from me. See ya.